السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين. so Google has this uh, new notebook LM where you can revolutionize your note taking abilities and uh, you know you can actually go beyond uh, taking notes. you can summarize it and I'll show you everything about it. so you need to go to notebooklm.google.com and just Google notebook LM and you get this. And then what you can do is, once you go into this, you can upload sources, right? The best thing about it is it can summarize YouTube videos also. Uh, SubhanAllah, I mean, <clears throat> you go to YouTube, for example, I'll take my, <clears throat> maybe Madina Book 3, some video. I've already tried it twice. So it's not unlimited. It has 50 sources, something. But I've taken this, right? I've taken a YouTube link. It's what? Madina Book 3, Lesson 13, Part 1. We are learning Lama of amr in that right so you go you add source youtube you can add source from where it says research handwritten notes hmm? sales documents whatever google drive you can take from google drive there's a source limit here if you can see here and it's up to 50 uh, you can copy paste text but i'm using youtube link hmm? youtube and then i click here um and then <clears throat> i insert it right i insert it uh, generally it should have so I've already done this. See, see, it comes here. So I click on this. Madina Book 3, Lesson 3, Part 1, Lam no Command. Then what you can do is you can get, um, you can click on Notebook Guide and click on FAQ. So it'll, whatever selected, it'll create a frequently asked questions from that. So it should tell us about Lam of Command, Lam of Amr, no other things. Let's see. It generates. I already generated some. See, what is it? Well, this is what? Oh, it has created for faiths. <clears throat> uh, wait, what? Oh, I need to click on this maybe. And then this is a source of transcript. We learn Lama Farmer. Okay. Oh, you have to click on that video and then it creates a source guide, a summary here. <clears throat> uh, so Lama Farmer. So it creates a note here. Discuss Lama Farmer. Okay. A chat here. So it takes from the video. So this is a transcript of the video. I mean, Lama Farmer is a grammatical concept and see, this is how it creates. Yeah, okay. Let him go, Lee Adhab. All right, it's it's pretty accurate because, uh, I mean, these videos are not only in English, right? They're in Arabic plus English, but still it's able to understand like, Wali Adhab and let him go is pronounced Wali Adhab. All right, all right. Lama Farmer, the class, this is, this is, this. Nice. Uh, and then you can create what talab and jawab talab, right? This is fine. I need to close this. But what about this notebook guide? Why is it not creating? I don't know. It's just taking from this one because I've already created it. Uh, but view chat is this chat, and this is notebook guide. Um, all right. And you, the best thing about it is you can also uh, do it for an Arabic thing. Like I just took a video of Sheikh Abdul Razak Al Badr, Tajdeed Al Iman. And this is a transcript of it in Arabic. So you can like, uh, you can ask for, you know, maintaining faith, spiritual warfare. Okay, spiritual warfare. What does it talk about spiritual warfare? It translates everything. And gives you a, a, a review. <laughs> so very nice, no? Especially if you don't know Arabic, you can put in any videos. All right. A discussion of spiritual warfare based on the provided source. The source. Muslim, the enemy has an enemy that is shaitan. Okay, let's talk about shaitan. That is a spiritual warfare. Shaitan, tactics. And it gives you footnotes also. Oh, you can see, check the Arabic also. Or shaitan, no? Uh, need to guard one's senses, right? And another thing is, the funny thing is, it creates an overall, uh, like a podcast kind of thing. Like, I'll just show you. If you click on this notebook guide, right? I already created here. here. Right? Let's listen to this. Uh, I mean, that's how, that's how I just wanted to share. But if you want to listen to this, let's create this. It takes some time, so I'm not, I have already created it. All uh, right, buckle up, everybody. We're diving deep into Arabic grammar today, but uh, we're taking a bit of a different route this time. Oh. Yeah, we're going to check out this. This is all AI generated, by the way. YouTube video from Arabic enthusiasts. They break down some super cool grammar points from the Medina Arabic series. So, you see, I mean, this is about the video about uh, Ismu Makan and Zaman. I don't know how accurate it is, but... Sounds intriguing. Right. 
it's like we're sneaking into an advanced Arabic class, but instead of getting bogged down, you know, we're pulling out the most mind-blowing takeaways. And those aha moments can really shift your whole perspective on a language. For sure. And uh, to guide us through all of this, I've got our language pro here with me today. Happy to be here. So language pro. What we're really asking is how can we get a deeper grasp on the structure and dare I say, the poetry of Arabic through its grammar? Well, Arabic has this really unique way of like expressing actions and states of being. Mm -hmm. A great starting point would be the contrast between active and passive. Oh yeah, the video jumps right in. No, so this is all from the video, by the way. I mean, but they've summarized it. This is awesome concept of ismul fail, the active participle. Yeah. Active participle, ismul fail. There's a mistake, but let's see if they explain it properly. Ismul mafu, it's passive counterpart. Right. Ismul maful file, okay. Hmm. So think of ismul fail, like reader. Ismul file, reader, okay. In English, someone actively doing the reading. Ismul maful, though, flips that. It describes something that the action has been done to, like maksur in the video, meaning. Maksur, yeah, yeah, okay. That which is broken. Whoa, that's so cool. It's not just broken, it's something that's undergone the act of breaking. Exactly. And that's what's super interesting. These participles aren't just, you know, grammar rules. They're a reflection of how actions and the results of those actions are understood in Arabic. All uh, you can listen to this. I'll, I'll put it in my Telegram channel, inshallah. Um, so, yeah. So this is wonderful, alhamdulillah. You can just try it out. I just wanted to show, share it with you. Barakallahu feekum, jazakallahu khairan, subhanakallahu wa yihamdik. Ashadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu alaykum. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.